So I started with the judo when I was about uh, age seven, and then I actually started training pretty hard when I was about 16, when I went into college. Uh, and I practiced every day, I trained judo every day, really hard and really persistent, and I even got into the Swedish national team. I traveled for a few years in Europe, just training in Hungary, Portugal, uh, just to train judo and improve. I went to training camps with like 600 black belts on the mat, you did the four hours uh, like tough sparring every day and uh, it was for sure the best thing that could happen to me when I was a, a teenager because uh, I have a um, I have a little bit of ADD <laughs> so to, to channel all, all my uh, my focus and energy into uh, the sport was um, really sound for me all the hard training I didn't have a coach to make a plan for me so I more or less did whatever I felt like and I had no clue. So of course I got injured eventually. Uh, and after like six years of herniated discs in my lower back, I was like, fuck you, this is too much for me. I have to quit and find something else. And just at that time, Jiu Jitsu was starting to grow rapidly. Like the Europeans, it was the second Europeans when I lived in Portugal. So I went to see the IBJJF Europeans and I was so blown away. It was the same sport I'd been doing for maybe 15 years, but it was something completely different. Like the vibe was so cool. It was so informal and judo was so strict and, and uh, different. So I'm like, wow, I think I have actually been doing jiu-jitsu in judo. That's why I was so weird and an outsider because jiu-jitsu was what I was supposed to do. So I just made a switch instantly. So the first year I, uh, I trained with just white belts and I also trained at a, a submission wrestling uh, academy. Uh, they were wrestlers and they were shoot fighting and they were really good so I had to start learning nogi which was a completely different thing. Uh, and from there I started I started in Czech mat. I moved cities, switched cities and I moved, started training with Czech mat in South Sweden. I was also looking for a life situation where I could uh, make money and train at the same time. And uh, there was Oslo. Great city, um, really high wages, nice people, and a fantastic academy. I went to train at Frontline, and I never got my ass kicked so bad like I did back then. But people were so friendly, and they were like, wow, you have a different style, what's your story? I was really blown away by their welcoming attitude. So I just moved here, and that was almost seven years ago, and I've never feel, felt more home uh, like I do at at Frontline. Come on David, 10 seconds. Yeah, good. So even though Jiu Jitsu is known as the gentle art, we all know deep down it's not really true. And uh, I did the same mistake in Jiu Jitsu that I did in Judo, I just trained Jiu Jitsu all the time. Uh, and I also sometimes skipped warm ups, which meant that my back was getting older every training and I started getting the same uh, pains in my back that I did in Judo. So I was almost on the verge of finding something I, I really needed something to, uh, to complement jiu-jitsu that made my body stronger and more flexible and I needed the increased body awareness because a lot of the techniques I was practicing, just I just never managed to nail them in sparring and competition. And suddenly a very beautiful woman showed up in my life and she happened to be a yoga instructor. So after about a year together with her and her watching eye, uh, I managed to rid myself of all the problems I had with my back and as a side effect my Jiu Jitsu got like twice as good because I was able to move the body the way I was supposed to move my body. I had much less restrictions both in flexibility and I got stronger in the small muscles not just the big muscles. The quality of my breath got a lot better. I needed to breathe less 
I did fewer mistakes and I spent much less energy. Even if I have a break for a couple of weeks, I can come back to sparring and I can feel really soft, nimble and still strong and, and agile because I maintain my physique with a consistent yoga practice. That really has changed the way I look at Jiu-Jitsu. With yoga, it, I can be smooth exactly when I need to be smooth and I stiffen up exactly when I need to stiffen up. And that's something I do in the yoga flows all the time. It's one relaxing pose followed by a really tough pose. So the yoga style I've, I've developed for my, own, uh, for my own body, I'm doing jitsu when I'm practicing yoga. Uh, and when I'm sparring and stuff happens, I can, I can improvise and I'm not really thinking about this is the same pose as in yoga, it's, it's subconscious, so it just happens and it flows. And I think I'm developing much faster in Jiu-Jitsu now that I can use my intuition more than my, my reason because I don't see myself as a very cognitive and very smart and structured person. Uh, and I've been trying to, to, you know, write charts and like close guard, all the techniques in close guard. But I don't think it really, it made, made me more understanding, but I didn't get any better of it. But with, with yoga, I can just practice yoga. And when I spar, I immediately feel, is this the right way to position my body? I don't have to think about it. It's just, it feels wrong or it feels right. The more you put pressure on me, the more flexible I become. So I can just rely on the flexibility all the time in guard, but also from top. Like when you're in side control or mount or a top position, you want to be close and tight. But if you want to go from side control to mount, you need to get your knee up. And if you're, if you're not flexible in the, you create a lot of space. So my top game and my guard passing game has changed a lot because I can just slip through the cracks. I remember when I was a purple belt, I, someone told him about, someone made a comparison with Bruce Lee, like be water. And I, I thought about it for a long time. What, what does it mean to be water? And it's exactly that. You don't force yourself through the guard. You're quick and you're, you're forceful like water, but like you slip through the cracks. And I've been trying to do that since I started yoga. I've been trying to be loose, fast and strong, but not forceful, just to be quick and, and smooth in the transitions. And uh, I was really obsessed with transitions before, but I didn't master any transitions before I started yoga. Now that my body is used to move smoothly and as one unit instead of just in opposite to just parts being interconnected, like how we all project that jiu-jitsu should be like when i'm a black belt i'm gonna just gonna be like this and this and this i'm starting to feel some of it now and i want to credit my yoga practice to all of that